What's good YouTube, it's White Mike, and today it is July 16th, 2019. And this is not a planned video. You may notice that the office is a bit different. I have moved, and that's the reason I have not posted anything. I wasn't even supposed to post anything until August, but this whole Sony announcement thing came out, and here I am. So I'll make an update video and show you the new office. This is like dedicated studio for these type of videos and uh, I'm gonna be doing more collaborations and stuff like that. So I wake up this morning and all I see is post after post after post about an A7R4 announcement and I look I thought it was a joke, but they actually did announce the R4. So the R3 came out about a year and a half ago or so and the new camera specs are as such. 61 megapixel image sensor that is up from 42.4 megapixels 15 stop dynamic range that's pretty much standard for sony 10 frames per second af and ae tracking that's pretty standard now 567 phase detection autofocus points with 74 percent coverage it's up from 399 so it should have better detection but still on the on the r series you're kind of like if this is the frame you're not getting the whole thing pretty much it's not edge to edge so you may lose like an eye on the edge you still have contrast points there you just don't have face detection points there so it's like hit or miss sometimes on the edges but I don't know these cameras are so good now that I don't think it's gonna be a problem real-time IAF for stills movie human animal so basically it's getting those features from the a9 and the a6400 which I love by the way and putting those into the R4 it has the real-time tracking of course 4k movies so it's still the same as log 2 3 HLG down sample from 6k to 4k and from what I could see now since they upped the megapixel count it is now back to being a super 35 video camera which means that it does a full pixel readout in super 35 but not in full frame that doesn't mean that the full frame is gonna suck because they kind of fixed that on the r3 but just kind of be aware if you buy this for video it's gonna be a crop sensor video camera i still think that the a7 III will be better for video than this camera but i'm kind of curious to see what the a7 IV will be which will probably get announced right after people buy this it kind of happened with the r3 people bought the r3 like crazy right and then right after they get the r3 in their hands for about a month the damn a7 III comes out and everybody tries to sell them like crazy so this is a very good upgrade if you already have the r3 and you want to upgrade like go for it but if you have an a7 III i honestly wouldn't upgrade just wait uh multi-interface shoe that's kind of the standard on sony they did release like some m1 microphone thing um uh, that's kind of cool i guess I don't think a lot of people use it. They already have microphones that work with the interface shoe. It's just, I don't know, they're so expensive that a lot of people don't get them or they maybe don't even know about them. The same 5.5 stops of five axis in-body stabilization, but you'll have to go look through the video because there is a caveat to that. Your standard is five axis, but 5.5 with a lot of particulars, but they just throw it in there because you know, numbers and numbers sell. So you have a really, really good uh, viewfinder now. It does have a better viewfinder than it did before. Uh, faster transfer rates, uh, uh, upgraded grip dust and moisture resistance so it's like I guess they got a bigger grip on this thing it has better weather sealing also both card slots are UHS 2 now instead of UHS 1 on slot 2 I mean a lot of people griped about that I, I never really had a problem with that personally pixel shift can do like 240 megapixel image where you take like 16 shots or something and stitch them together I never really used that when I had the R3 but I mean it's good for someone doing like I guess work of architecture or or something like that and they just need a massive massive image i mean it, it's 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 good it's not for everybody a few things that i noticed again like with the weather ceiling they actually showed like part where all the gaskets are showing i'll put it up on the screen and it does look like they finally put a gasket on the bottom of this damn thing because people set their cameras down and they get wet it does look like they have increased the size of a bunch of the buttons so that's good too so as far as the dials you have your exposure comp it looks like the actual rear dial is actually exposed now so you can see the full dial on top and that doesn't really matter to me a lot of the buttons are a lot bigger now and easier to hit i assume and they changed the joystick it's kind of like instead of this little i don't know 6400 doesn't have it but on the a7 III and a7r3 there's there's a joystick but it's a little finicky now it kind of has like a rubber grip so i'm assuming it's a little bigger with a rubber grip and it's probably easier to move so that'll be good other than that the layout of the buttons look the same i think they changed the uh port opening a little bit sorry i'm looking at my screen i just woke up i literally this is not a prepared video at all so i apologize about that so again 
a lot more megapixels. I mean, this camera is honestly not for me. I like the a7 III and I'm gonna stick with that until the a7 IV comes out or maybe the a7s IV. Yes, I said four. Honestly, to me, this confirms that the a7s III is dead. Not dead in the way that they wouldn't make another one. I'm thinking they're gonna skip the a7s III and I had this thought before. People called me crazy, so I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Closer to the end of the year, if they even announce one. One, they may not even need an a7s anymore because the a7 III is so good, but it's still not as good as a the a7s is I, I promise you that you can grab an a7s and compare it there's no comparison but i think they're gonna skip the a7s3 and make an 8k a7s4 with the r4 not having 8k i don't think that the a7 4 would have 8k uh not even close it may be a down sample but at the best the a7 4 may get something but a lot of people are griping because this camera doesn't have 4k 60 it doesn't have 10 bit out all that stuff but the R series has always been kind of a stills camera first. It was used for video and it did a very good job at it because the a7 II really sucked at the time. But this, you gotta remember, the a7R is a stills camera. It's made for studio work, portrait photographers. It's made for like landscapes. I mean, you can use it however you want. Just be wary of that, that they are putting their photo centric elements first. Whereas with the a7 III, they're trying to make that like an all around entry-level camera that can do everything and the a7s is more their video centric camera i mean this is kind of like what i expected these cameras are so good now that this announcement honestly isn't like groundbreaking yes you get the tracking like a boost of megapixels but it's not like a groundbreaking announcement like the r3 over the r2 was such a big change that everyone jumped on it even though it had the same sensor and they just redesigned it a little bit reprogrammed it um the r4 is just like an incremental update it's it's a good camera. It looks like an awesome camera. Like if I didn't, if I wanted an A7R and I didn't have one right now, I would wait and buy this. But if I already had an R3, unless you just need tracking or you're having problem tracking subjects, I wouldn't upgrade. If you have an A7 III, I wouldn't upgrade either. I would wait for the A7 IV because this just means that there's an A7 IV around the corner. And the A7S, um, as much as I want one, I just think if they release it, it's going to be an A7S IV if they, uh, don't release an a7s4 then you can just assume that that camera is dead so what do you guys think about the a7r4 i was really surprised about the announcement but looks like a good camera it's supposed to be available in september 2019 i don't know when the pre-orders are going to start the price looks like it's 3500 dollars us 4500 canadian that's kind of like what you come to expect from the r series it's anywhere between 32 to 3500 whereas i believe the a7 IV when it comes out will probably be close to 2500 now just thinking that the prices keep kind of slightly going up unless they run into competition with like the nikon z series or canon eos then they'll probably keep it around 2000 but i still think the a7 IV is going to be a better deal maybe they'll even give us like 32 megapixels i don't really need more than 24 but i honestly even with this like how much more can you upgrade the a7 IV like give it the same body and the buttons right maybe boost up the frames per second give it more of the focusing to track and then the 4k shit will just probably be the same in the UHS two card slots so the a7 IV seems like it's really predictable as to what we're gonna get based on this a7s is still a mystery and uh yeah so what do you think about the a7r4 announcement is this a camera you're gonna get um is there anything you didn't like about the announcement i honestly think we gotta stop asking for 4k 60 and 10 bit it's just not gonna happen if 4k 60 happens it's gonna be in an s series or a crop sensor first like the uh new crop sensor professional camera i don't think it's gonna happen in the a7 before I just i just don't 4k 60 is going to happen in a crop sensor first they always test out features on these things like these things get features first the a9 of course got the tracking but you notice that when they announced that they also announced this new camera and put it on this camera because this is kind of their guinea pig let's try it on our aps-c cameras if people like it let's move it to the full frame i think these even got touchscreen first so just something to keep in mind but yeah again let me know what you think about the a7r4 leave a comment down below i'll get back to you immediately hit the like like button if you like this video subscribe to my channel for more content just like this and uh ring that bell if you're into that it's a wrap
uh, I just woke up. This video was not prepared at all. I literally just found out. Actually, it was announced like two hours ago from now. Um, it's a nice little camera. I will be getting it, but again, this is the new studio setup. It's not done. I still gotta change the background a lot, change some stuff back here. Probably gonna move this damn star up. Um, but the lighting and stuff is nice. I also need to treat this room a little bit. I have a street right over here. It's making a lot of noise. And then out here, I got my big office area with a bunch of tables. I'm gonna be doing collabs and stuff like that. So uh, look forward to that. Again, I'm not gonna be posting anything until August, aside from this video, unless there's another announcement. Sony did announce a 35 millimeter 1.8 full frame lens, but I didn't do a video on that, but I might do a video on that when I'm done because I moved. Uh, I gotta take care of stuff at the old property. I have to get everything prepared on this property and then finish the studio, which all this should be done by August. And then I'll start uh, posting uh, multiple times weekly. So uh, got a lot of videos I gotta edit, a lot of photos I gotta edit, a lot of projects I gotta edit. So uh, just uh, bear with me, man.